up now is uh, Yuva Mitinian. We changed him with uh, Yasir earlier, and we will learn everything, I guess, about Africa, aren't we? <laughs> so just, yeah, soon. There, I will arrange your pictures. Oh, okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's, it was actually good that my, my presentation was changed a bit later because I was playing a game the whole time I've, I've been here the afternoon. It's a, it's a simple game. It's not that this, this occasion is not entertaining, but anyway, uh, every time I hear a certain word, I will put cross into my palm. And, and this afternoon, my word was Africa. And, and look at my palm. Okay, it's, it's pretty empty, all right? And ladies and gentlemen, I think we are making a mistake with that one. So my first, uh, first punchline will be next decade or years coming at least until 2030, it will be time for Africa. Okay, and uh, the second punchline will be just to make sure that the bell won't ring and I'll get my punchlines on. Uh, there are partners who will share uh, funding and some risks uh, when you are going into, into emerging markets. And uh, I, will, I will start with, uh, with, the, with the funding and partnering part, and then I will go into, into Africa. I represent uh, uh, an innovation funding program called BEAM. And it's an innovation funding program by TEKES, which is the counterpart of, of Vinnova in Finland. TEKES is, uh, is, is having an annual budget of some 500 million euros, and, 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 and it's allocating that budget in all kind of different innovation-related activities. And, and BEAM, Business with Impact, is, is, is one of those programs and, and specifically targeting on, on emerging markets. Okay, so we are there to share risk with the companies who are striving for starting new businesses, entering new markets in, in, in as we call, in emerging markets. And, and emerging markets, from, from our perspective, comprise pretty much whole Latin America, Africa, and Asia. So we, we, we are, uh, rely on the OECD Development uh, Aid uh, Committee's list of countries who are eligible for the, for the funding. So uh, we started like, like two years ago, it's, uh, it's about 50 million euros program and, and we now have some 60 projects ongoing all around the world with some, some uh, 18 million euros invested altogether. And of course from the Finnish side, the good and the funny part and the bad part is that within this community also you better work with the Finns. Because the Finns are actually the only ones who are eligible for the funding directly, okay? But in sharing risk, of course, that the entities from outside, whether they are local partners or partners from, from, the, from the SME to co-community, they can be subcontractors or they can, of course, have funding from, from other sources. But of course, the thing is that it's good to partner with Finns anyway. All right. Uh, we are primarily targeting uh, growth-oriented SMEs. And, and, and of course, we love uh, different kind of consortia. Of, of course, you have, uh, if you have your uh, research entities and, and even NGOs on board, that's very nice from, from our, uh, our perspective. Of course, we honor, honor in, a, in a sense, bigger companies because they normally act as, a, as a mediators, facilitators, catalysts for, for good projects. And of course, we, we think that the companies need to be solid and, 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 and they should have their own resources once they are, when, once they are exercising some things in, in exciting and, and, and markets which are a bit further away. I think our, our main thematics coincide quite nicely with, with the thematics, broadly thematics of, of, of smart cities. Education, environment, energy, healthcare, and all that. We have heard during the afternoon that 
different kind of solution around those thematics are, are very much in the core of, of, of smart cities. So that's about BEAM. That's the funding instrument mainly for Finnish entities, but please partner with them. Okay, then let's, let's go to Africa now. Uh, I've spent some five plus years before coming like a year ago in, into Finland in, in southern and, and, and eastern Africa. And, and, and normally once you start talking about Africa, you can, you can have these kind of a, a dichotomia or, or you, can, you can have the upper side of, of Africa, kind of a big cities with well-educated people. But, but for many of us, the, the, the first impression is, 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 is the lower one thing. Huts and, and, and people uh, living in, 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 in those kind of uh, uh, very rural and, and uh, uh, circumstances. But I can assure you, this will change quite rapidly. And that's why really Africa is, 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 and, and, and is, a, is a great place for, for smart city solutions. Rapid urbanization is happening all around Africa. I, I would say that, not, not to go into details, but many of the numbers are much bigger than in India and in China. And of course, I, I'm not doing any justice if I'm, if I'm saying Africa as a whole, because it's almost 50 different kind of countries, and, and uh, and northern part of Africa is, of course, a bit different than southern part. Eastern part is, of course, much, uh, very much different, than, uh, uh, different than, than the western part of Africa. But to, to, to be, I only had some, some 12 minutes, so I have to put, put this somehow in a macro perspective. But to say, many of the numbers are much bigger than in, 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 in many of the, of the other continents. Middle class will explode. Just an example from, from, from Eastern Africa. And of course, Africa is the youngest continent by far. And, and, and there will be kind of a lot of opportunities and of course, of course, uh, hopefully a lot of job opportunities to that young generation which is, which is entering the, the job market in, 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 in next 10 to, 10 to 15 years. And of course, you need different kind of solutions around uh, education and, and, and if you tr really try to kind of uh, industrialize these countries, I guess the Nordic community is, is having a lot to offer in, in, in that sense. Okay, I, won't, I, I will more or less skip this one because you, you, you have your digital aspects, you have your, your physical aspects, and you have your economic aspects when you, when you, when you think about smart cities. And, and I guess we have heard some examples already around this uh, from, from different, uh, different continents this, this uh, afternoon. Okay. Just an example, like in, like in Latin America, I guess this is one of the uh, kind of a strongest areas where Nordics are, are really good. And I would say that, that uh, there are plenty of cities, I would say dozens of cities who, who need really urban waste and pollution management from different angles. Last week I, I spent a few days in, in Dar es Salaam and, and, and Nairobi in, in Kenya and I can assure that uh, we you that when we when we visited some uh, landfills and and and, and uh, waste uh, wastewater treatment places, uh, there is still some way to go and 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 some needs to be done and 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 I guess that's that's that could be done really really under the title of 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 smart cities. Okay, there are also funny things going on in Africa. I guess many of you have heard about M-Pesa. One, one might say that it's the most advanced uh, mobile payment or, or, or money transmission system in the world and most widely used. So innovations are not only happening in, in, in this continent. And, and uh, at least for Finns, it's a good, good kind of a uh, note or notification that, that in some, in some uh, if I would say, uh, in some areas of innovation, we are not really the uh, front runners. Okay, and it's happening all around in, in Eastern Africa, mainly of course in, in, in Kenya. Okay, now coming back to the first point, 
you have you have partners in, in in funding and in collaboration. This is a, a small project we are we are funding and and, and and carrying out in Namibia. It's really about smart city uh, kind of a systems in a in a logistic hub called uh, Volvis Bay in in Namibia. And and seemingly there are now only more or less Finnish entities involved, research institutions, companies working together. And, and when you start uh, thinking of, of renewal or, or, or refurbishment of a big harbor in an in a, in African context, you start talking of having many zeros in, a, in a projects where, where you can be busy with. Just an example for you. Okay. This is just a, a bit of a disclaimer, of course, and I, I fully understand why, why companies are not always that, that interested in, 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 in Africa specifically. You have your multiplier, resources, time, money, etc., etc., and you have to be patient. There are not that many low-hanging fruits and, and quick wins to gain. There might be some, of course. Many of, of your customers come from the public sector or even from the donor side, and it takes really, sometimes it takes more time than, than it should take. Okay. But one thing which I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad uh, from this context is that you really need the local presence in one way or another, and you need facilitators. And I, I've spotted a few guys, I guess, Kingsley and, 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 and some other guys who are busy with helping you with Africa, so to speak. You, in most cases, you need really those guys. The more local, the better. Okay. So with disclaimer now said, it's not easy, but it's a huge opportunity. And this is a nice map because Africa is in the middle with, with the greatest growth rates. Okay. I, I leave you with this vision and thanks for having me this afternoon. Thank you.